Jacket fans, I'm Kelly DeLashman. I'm here with RamblinRec.com. I'm talking to my roommate and teammate, Ashley Thomas. Uh, she's a shortstop for us. Um, so we're going to start off talking about um, the Boston College series. So um, we woke up the bats. We run, got our first run roll in in the ACC series, um, eight to zero in five innings against Boston College. What does that do for our team confidence? Um, I think it definitely helps a lot. Uh, we know we're a good hitting team. It was just nice to finally put it into a game and uh, get that run roll, which uh, definitely helped our confidence a lot. How did it feel to get the first ACC sweep? Oh, it felt great. Should have been earlier, but um, no, it, it felt awesome. I was glad. Okay, for spring break, we went to Louisiana. And um, our first day there, we were in New Orleans, and we ate at this great place called Landry's. Tell us a little bit about it. What did you eat? Um, I had shrimp, uh, shrimp angel food or something like that. It was uh, just it was noodles and shrimp, but it was the best noodles and shrimp I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. So we were able to wander around um, French Quarter for about two hours. Um, what did you do while you were there? Uh, we just walked around, uh, looked in a lot of the gift shops because we wanted some souvenirs. Um, we also got our palms red which was pretty exciting. A few of us did. Me, Haley, and Kate got our palms red, and uh, that was interesting. First time for all of us, so, you know, that was, that was pretty cool. Did they tell you anything that you were not expecting? Um, I mean, I guess apparently I'm going to live till I'm 100, <laughs> and <laughs> the other stuff, don't really remember, but it was just, it was, it was fun. <laughs> good. Sounds like we'll have you on, around for a while, so that's yeah. good to know. Um, so what do you think about New Orleans? Would you be ready to go back sometime? Um, yeah, it seemed like a fun place, and some of the other girls got to see uh, a show like on the side of the road, which I'm kind of jealous about, but um, yeah, I would definitely go back. I did. It was the Calypso Tumblers from America's Got Talent, and they were really cool. <laughs> um, so, sophomore Caitlin Cates, she's from Louisiana, and her family had a crawfish boil for us. Was that the first time eating crawfish for you? Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, um, did you like it? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> loved it too much. <laughs> All right, well, we got to talk about this. You accepted a challenge that you would be the only person that would eat the whole crawfish. Yeah. And what did you, what kind of reward did you get for eating the crawfish? Um, uh, Eileen said that I would get a dessert with one of our dinners <laughs> if I if I won the crawfish. So. That's a big deal on our team. Oh, yeah. We don't I was take dessert lightly. As soon as I heard that, she said dessert. And so I was like, hey, I'm, I'm down. You took advantage <laughs> of the challenge. Yes. <laughs> All right. What did it taste like? Uh, it was kind of spicy. Um, it just kind of tasted like spicy liquid. It wasn't, it was OK. I was expecting worse. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Definitely yeah. something I was going to try. Um, well, it wasn't all fun and games while we were there. We did play softball. Um, we played one game versus LSU and a doubleheader um, versus ULL, Louisiana Lafayette. Um, which team, like, they're not usually on our schedule, those teams. So what was it like to be able to play teams outside of our conference? Um, I liked it. Uh, it, was, it was something new, um, different kind of pitchers for our uh, players to see. Um, I, I, I liked playing these two different teams. Uh, they were both... Uh, real competitive team, so I think that was good for us playing them. Okay, so versus ULL, we played real competitive. We scored 11 runs on them, which was the most runs they've allowed all year. Um, you personally scored four runs against them. You had five plate appearances, which were career highs for you that game. And between the two games, you um, got on six times in a row, which is a big deal. Um, do you have a different approach at the plate being a leadoff batter? Because last year you were kind of in the two spot, you moved around, but you've kind of really taken over the leadoff spot for us. Is there a different approach? Yes, there's definitely a different approach. Um, leadoff, you're just trying to get on base. And uh, I mean, if the leadoff gets on base, it's almost impossible not to score her. So mm -hmm. um, my approach is just to get on base so that our hitters can hit me over. So. Okay, well, you've taken kind of a more of a leadership role this year. You are a shortstop for us, so you kind of have to take over the infield, and you're the leadoff batter like we talked about. Do you feel more pressure now that you're kind of having to help out the younger girls? 
Um, I don't really feel pressure. I think uh, the only pressure that you feel is what you put on yourself. So I, I don't feel a whole lot of pressure. Um, I enjoy having a leadership role, so um, I'm just trying to be the best at it as I can, and especially for our younger girls because we kind of have a young infield. Um, so definitely trying to help them out a lot. Well, you've definitely settled in. You seem like you just are real comfortable at the plate, and you're always on base for us, stealing the bases, scoring. Um, what has been the trick for you and your success at the plate? Uh, I don't really think there's a trick. Um, I just think, uh, you know, I understand my role, and I work every day to be the best at that role. So, um, yeah, there's no trick. I'm just uh, trying to be the best at my role on the team. Do you find like statistics helpful or harmful? Do you, do you look at those before a game? Are you looking at your stats and trying to figure out things? Um, no, I don't really like to look at my stats. Mm -hmm. uh, I just try to take it game by game instead. <laughs> All right. Well, we hit the road on Friday and head up to NC State. Are you excited to get back into conference play after a week of non-conference teams? Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, we need these wins, so I'm excited for some awesome games, awesome hitting. What do you think is the key to our success this weekend against the Wolfpack? Um, I think uh, our key is going to be if we can have a solid defense and, um, and our bats get going, I think there's no way we're going to lose. So. That's right. There's no stopping <laughs> us. All right. Well, thanks, fans, for watching. This is Ashley Thomas. I'm Kelly DeLashman. We're with RamblinRec.com. Uh, check in every week and look forward to following us throughout the season. <laughs>